The jury will be back tomorrow morning to deliberate in the trial of James Crumbly. Yeah, they spent about two hours deliberating this afternoon, going home just before five. Our Christian McDonald is anchoring our coverage on Local 4 Plus. She watched all of the closing arguments today and joins us now with the legal expert and her key takeaways. Hey, Christy. Hey, Damon and Karen, you know, if we take a big picture look at this trial, it was a lot shorter than Jennifer Crumbly's trial was. And again, we look at these kind of side by side. Another big difference in this trial, James Crumbly did not take the stand like Jennifer Crumbly did. And the prosecution really zeroing in on gun storage and access in this case. So I wanted to bring in our legal expert, George Danini with Butzel, um, and to answer a couple of big questions for us today. George, it's great to see you. Uh, let's go ahead and start off with the fact that James Crumbly did not take the stand. How do you think Think that that impacts the defense's case no so look i mean there's from a defense standpoint there's sometimes nothing more powerful than saying the defense has no case because the government did not prove its case on the reason of doubt um so again the government has the burden um and you can get in a lot more points that you want to make in prosecution of, of the state's so, the right move because while anybody who's charged with something has an instinct to want to tell their side cross examination, the process. Yeah, and even in the jury instructions, it says the defendant does not have to take the stand in their own defense, and you cannot use that in weighing in your deliberations. Let me ask you this, George. You know, juries do have to look at that evidence and testimony. What the attorney's questions are or those opening statements and closing arguments cannot be weighed as evidence. But how important is crafting those closing arguments that we heard today for both the prosecution and defense, that last, you know, kind of message to the jury about the case? I think it's critically important to summarize the evidence in the way that you view the case. Um, and certainly as the case progresses, jurors are paying attention to their opinions, but it's really yeah, George, thanks so much. We lost your audio a little bit there, but appreciate your expertise on this. And we'll be talking to you in the days ahead. Of course, the jury will be coming back tomorrow morning, starting around 830 or so to begin their deliberations again. Every night of this trial in the five days, we've been giving you what we call key testimony of the day, streaming on Local 4 Plus at 8 o'clock at night and on ClickOnDetroit.com. So tonight, since there really wasn't key testimony, it was the closing arguments from both sides. So coming up tonight on Local 4 Plus, you can start stream the entire prosecution's closing argument that was given by Karen McDonald, the Oakland County prosecutor, and then also Marielle Lehman, the defense attorney, her closing arguments as well, and then the rebuttal from the prosecution. That is tonight at 8 o'clock. And then make sure you join me back here, uh, Local 4 Plus, click on Detroit.com in the morning. We are going to be here throughout the entire jury deliberations, and when we get word of either questions for the jury or a verdict, we will be here for you for that. And that's the very latest, so I'm going to send it back to you, Karen and Demond. All right. Christy, thank you.